Hi guys, James here. Today I'd like to explain multivariate outliers and some broad concepts regarding their detection. Now you're probably accustomed to looking for univariate outliers and these are rather easy to spot. Here in front of me I have two variables, x and y, and their distributions. Now we might say, well this point looks like an outlier, this guy here, this guy here, and maybe this guy here. And maybe we'd resort to a more rigorous statistical method to supplement this conclusion, but for now this is good enough. Now, I'm going to say that these two variables actually represent two measurements stemming from single data points in a data set. And this means we can examine their relationship with a regression method. So here I've plotted these data points with a fitted line, and I'm going to pretend that we are trying to predict a person's weight using their age. Now, notice that the points we previously thought were outliers appear to fit the model relatively well. However, there is one point that looks distinguishably like an outlier right here, and when we examine this point in the univariate distributions on the left, it is located somewhere in the center of our data. Maybe this guy here, and this guy here. So, when we reevaluate our data for outliers with the consideration of the relationship between variables, some outliers cease to be outliers while others become outliers. While the weights on the extreme ends of our distribution look very large, they actually seem reasonable once we consider the person's age. Just as an example, let's pretend we are examining weight in people aged 10 to 20 years old. We actually would expect somebody who's 20 years old uh, to weigh more than all these other people, and likewise, it's appropriate for the 10 and 11 year olds to weigh the least. However, this 15-year-old appears to weigh a lot more than other 15-year-olds and doesn't follow the trend that we expect, therefore he is an outlier. So possibly one of the coolest things about statistics is that the more information you have about your data points, the more opportunity there is for an individual point to express uniqueness in some property or conformity in another. Now, you might be wondering, well, this example was with bivariate data, what happens when we use multivariate data? And the answer is that nothing really changes, we just have a model with more information. Here I've added an additional variable z, which represents height, and accordingly I've drawn a three-dimensional regression plot. Note that, for the sake of simplicity, some elements of this plot are missing. Now we have a, re a response surface, which is the three-dimensional synonym for a fitted line, represented in yellow. The main point I want you to observe is that now weight is graphed as a function of both height and age, and as either predictor increases, so does weight. And each of our data points do not fit perfectly with our response surface. Some are extending underneath the surface while others are projecting above. However, with this new model, none of these points look like outliers. So maybe our 15 year old, who was a bivaria outlier, is no longer an outlier when we take his height into consideration. Maybe he was really tall and this accounted for an increase in weight that went unexplained by his age. So again, the key point is that by removing or adding information, which data points are and are not outliers is subject to change. I hope this video has been useful to you and thank you for watching.